Sonic's Sonic main, Sonic profile picture, chocolate, Yoshi main, Yoshi profile picture. These people know what they want out of Smash Brothers. And it's a hedgehog and a dinosaur. Let's get it. All right. Stadium, good start for both of these. I feel like they can both cover ground. These are both decently fast characters that are known for having more um, slow-paced gameplay. So I'm right, curious right. to see, like, who's the one to really push the, uh, the envelope. Yeah, Yoshi had, like, a really interesting evolution from the last game. He's, like, a weird, like, combo, like, stoner burst character. He does, like, a bunch of things. So it's pretty interesting to see how difficult you could play him in this game. Best things about Sonic for this particular matchup is that a lot of his combos are very much like run in, do a lot of damage really fast, and get out. Right. It doesn't give Chocolate a good opportunity to make use of his Nair to break out of combos. Yeah, that's a good point. And the eggs uh, are not the best option for projectiles. They are a little slow, so Sonic's has been able to get around pretty easily so far. Wow, good movement from Sonic's, actually. I don't really like getting around that aerial. Nice stuff. Right around the egg. Sneaks in the back here. Look at that first stock. There's only a little bit of damage against himself. Looking good for Sonic so far. Sonic seems to have a very clear idea of where he needs to position uh, Sonic in order to move back and forth. He seems to be going this large V formation, and Chocolate hasn't really caught on, nor has he been able to intercept it. Right. It's pretty interesting. I really enjoy watching the Sonic sort of dance around different characters' burst options. And so far, Sonic's is really good spacing around all the different stuff Chocolate has been throwing out. Sneaking in a couple of nares, though. Looking pretty good for Chocolate. Chocolate trying to also go in with the forwarders. I think it's a, a bigger commitment than what he can really afford at this moment because right. Sonic's is doing fine at getting in bits of chip damage here and there. 51 without really committing to an option. Pretty strong. All right, but a couple of back airs looking pretty good for Chocolate. Got Sonic's at the ledge. All right. Such a, dude, that's so much coverage for like so little commitment. Just shield and air with Yoshi at the ledge. All right, big oh, forward air. Oh yeah, Yoshi has arguably one of the best nares in the game. Like, comes out quick, is huge. And, you know, if Sonic isn't careful, that nair could start a combo. Mm -hmm. At like any percent. Or could just outright kill. That, especially at these climbing percents. Sonic's hanging around at 152. Oh, all right, looking for a big attack there, but Sonic's end up on the winning side of it. Back to the ledge. Some good spin dashes. All right, Sonic's like for... Sonic's is still managing to get this back air in, even if he, like, misses the rest of his chain that he gets out of spin charge. Yep. That's very smart, because I was going to say it, so that's how I know it's smart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So unfortunate. Chocolate is throwing out these options, but Sonic just looks like he's so ready for him. And sneaks in the back of the same exact way he took that first stock. Oh man. Even off the platform, forward air still not gonna kill off its top. Yeah, no, Chocolate needs an up air desperately. I mean, he's probably got like a list of things he needs, but yeah, it's a, that's on the list. It was like he can low profile up there and it'll just it'll destroy Sonic. Oh, what the? <laughs> that was a that was such a greedy forward air. He almost killed him. Sub fifty percent. Sparks at like thirty five is not something I wanted to see. <laughs> but okay. first imagery is a staple of any tri state event, even if it's <laughs> online. I'll try to sneak in another back air there. Dude, Sonic also just has this really sweet ear dodge for some reason. Nice. Oh, there we go. That should do it. Nope. Yep. Okay. That uh, will do it, though. So, three for three in the back here. Sonic's holding on to that very first stock at 173. And also, dude, Sonic is rude. Like, oh, no, dude. yeah. Sonic definitely is a cocky character. He's like simultaneously chill and cocky with everything that he does. Yeah, that's actually pretty accurate, yeah. Alright, well. I promised a blockbuster, and they did not disappoint. 
Yeah, no, that was a very strong start from Sonics. Very clear indicator of how he wants to approach this tournament. And, you know, given, like, how consistent he was with his approach, I'm I'm hoping that Chocolate adapts in the oncoming game. I kind of want to see an FD pick, just to limit the amount of space that Sonics has to uh, to run away. Like, yeah, if there's the, less platforms, there's less creativity. I was going to say, the platforms definitely helped Sonics, too. You could see some of the air dodges to the platforms helped Sonics hold on to that first stock for a much longer time than was necessary, but Chocolate doesn't necessarily agree with us. So we're All right. going to see some PS2 action for game two. I mean, the stage is very good for Yoshi, but right. I think Chocolate would need an opportunity to really showcase that. He didn't land any of his combo starting moves. Really wasn't able to, like, participate in neutral. Yoshi was just a bit too slow, but there we well, go. We saw one tilt. Which is more than the last game, but the problem was, yeah, Chocolate only really landed like an air and an up smash here and there. So, already off to a better start. Nice. I'm not quite sure how the interaction between forward tilt and spin dash or spin charge goes, but right. Chocolate's gonna need to find those answers soon. He's building up the damage really well here. That was a crazy right. interaction with the up smash. It's not like actually going under it. Should still be alright here, yep. Yeah. Taking the high road. All right, just playing some good old-fashioned neutral. Here we go. Yes, if Sonic is able to continue, oh. <laughs> caught him into the egg lay. Okay. We saw a couple of attempts of those, but nice to see it work out finally. Oh man, dude, Sonic's like tempo is pretty smart as well. Should be able to. Uh, nope. Should be able to think for a second on the respawn platform as he loses his first stock. Oh, jeez, that was. That was almost a disaster in the making as right. I collided with the spring, but jump armor is keeping him safe. Wow, that was a really good up B from Sonic, saving him from the down B from Chocolate. I think, like, right here, if you're Chocolate, I was gonna say, you can. Calm down a little bit, get that stock, and now it's like functionally even. A couple of like one too many forward airs in that situation from Chocolate, and all of a sudden like it's insurmountable. So you kind of stay composed. What she ended up doing, working out. Chocolate needs to find a way to control the space near the plats because the positioning of the platforms for PS2 seems to be like what's dictating how Sonic's circle camps. Mm -hmm. Like, there's a very deliberate arc above the platforms that he's moving in that allows him to safely approach and dip out of danger. And if Chocolate can occupy that space with Yoshi, like specifically Yoshi, not just an egg, I feel like he'll have a lot more success with pegging on some damage. That's a good point, but I... Uh, Alright, sneaks in the Woo! forward air. The, I think the problem is in that situation, if you're too high a percent, then Sonic can sneak in the back air, and that's like exactly what you're worried about with your Chocolate. See. Wow, dude. Mix up with the homing attack. Okay. Yeah, homing attack is a little risky in this matchup because Shulkit could keep throwing out these forward airs as he's been doing so and then, like, start dunking. Whoa, alright. Sneaks in the no back air through the egg, yeah. Alright, Sonic's wins. Man, the announcer said it better than I ever could. Moving on. Very solid show time. performance. Uh, again, another player I would not be surprised to see a lot of later on this evening. Uh, one of my personal picks for top eight. I, oh, I definitely. Really, I really feel like Sonics has found such a strong consistency with the online play. And if you can approach such an obtuse matchup like Yoshi's Sonic with such confidence, like, I think it, he'll handle himself well in this bracket. I agree, man. Like I said, the spacing around Yoshi in general was just, like, so, so good. He knew exactly what to watch out for and how to avoid it. And it was pretty pretty fun to see in action.